Hi, this is Osamu Kabayashi from Zen Ideas. Today I'd like to walk you through how to create um, a lead magnet forms with Elementor. So I have created uh, the lead magnet uh, landing page. So this is my webinar uh, landing page a while ago. And then um, on the bottom of this page, uh, of course, I have uh, registration forms. And then so this is a lead capture form. So people who sign up and then uh, so I get the lead automatically. So, so as you may know, uh, the WordPress is, is compatible with uh, uh, major email marketing tools. All right, so let's get started. So I get into my constant contacts and then uh, here's email list. I have to add new one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call this to webinar, something like that and it is created and I think that's all for now so I'm gonna I'm going to build a form so now I have only email so I have to add a field here add plus button here and then uh, I'm gonna label this to first name and the placeholder is gonna be same and that's required and I'm gonna just copy duplicate that and then I'm gonna change that oops sorry and I'm gonna change that to last name last name on the placeholder and that's also required and I'm gonna just place the order so I'm gonna move that um, email field on the bottom so and the hit update So now it's first name, last name, and email. Now, next, so I'm gonna set up actions after submit. So first, email, and I'm gonna have another email, so email number two. The reason is the first email is when somebody registers, so I get notified. And the email number two is if somebody is registered, um, they get notified from me. So it's automatically they get email from me. So that's why I'm setting up the two emails here after um, actual after submit. And another thing is I'm going to put the redirect because I'm creating a thank you page. So once somebody submit or register, so I'm redirecting them to a thank you page. So I'll show that to you later. So the first email field, so to my email address, that's okay. So in the subject, subject line, maybe I can just say someone has registered third, um, uh, your webinar, something like that. And the message all feels okay. And the, the rest should be fine like this. And the metadata, um, yeah, I don't really care about time, page URL. Uh, user agent uh, credit it doesn't I don't really care about that so next I need to set up the email number two so I put the, the text on my right hand, uh, right hand side so that I can copy and paste so save my time so as uh, this email I'm going to send to whoever registered my webinar so I have to grab uh, email code here so I go back to form field and I grab email address here and go to advanced and just grab this short code okay and copy that and go back to email number two and paste that to this short code so whoever put the right email address and automatically after they registered my email message goes to him or her all right and then you can customize your subject line so which is I'm gonna just grab this and just thank you for booking a webinar on March 19th and then send a custom message I'm gonna just grab that now make sure you need the uh, break um, tab for HTML otherwise uh, uh, email formats gets uh, gets funny so without break so so this is my zoom meeting uh, detail and from email is my email address 
and then from name my email and reply to my email address so that's that's good and hit update so the next step is to set up the redirect right here now I have redirect uh, page created it's very simple uh, thank you for requesting my upcoming webinar blah 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 and our system is in the process of sending the webinar access information to your email box so which is right here on the right hand side I just copy and paste right and then I'm just grab this URL copy that and then just paste onto this and that's all I'm gonna hit update now so this is good um, we can finish here but I like to take another step so go to action after submit and then um, so there are lots of options too if you have email marketing tool like MailChimp uh, active campaign so forth now I use constant contact and the constant contact you don't have that on this in this option so you have to install separate plugin uh, it's called a mail opt-in so I choose this and here it is uh, now you can check mail opt-in and you can select now I uh, I connected with um, with my constant contact so now you can see that and I select and then selecting email list and earlier I created uh, my webinar uh, here it is it's a webinar instant lead magnet on March 19th so I choose this and hit update so let's see if if this works so I'm gonna just uh, go to page view and I put uh, my email uh, app on the right hand side so here is the form so I can put my name on so I'm gonna just uh, use that my home address and hit register all right uh, let's see so it says thank you you know redirecting the thank you page here and then letting me know that uh, the system is in the process of sending the webinar access so it looks like I got something here and here it is so thank you for registering so you have my zoom uh, account and actually constant contact actually sending me uh, for joining us uh, thank you for joining us so that it's automatically opt-in and now and if I refresh this so here is email came from the my website to my work email saying that someone has registered to my webinar has the name and which is my name this is my home uh, email address and now let's go to my constant contact and I'm gonna refresh this and my email list and now let's take a look uh, where is it oh here on the down the bottom here webinar instant lead magnet on March 19th and they here is one here I'm just click that uh, should be me yep Osamu Wakabayashi and my email address so it's automatically opt-in 